Hello and good morning. We are back inside the airport for some reason because today is a magical day where we are trying to find the car to rent it and to go around Saravak together with the guys which are already at the counter so I gotta go and find them and our goal for today is to find the car, rent it and drive around Kuching for the very first time. Yay! Wishes good luck. It needs to have three rows of seats. Three Something like this. Is alright. Is alright. Right. Wait, wait, are you in Kuching or are you out in Kuching? We, 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 we will drive out of Kuching. Yes. You, you better go and see the uh, seven seater first. Yeah. And then I'll teach you how to open the door. Uh, no, 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 you have to look at the condition first. Yeah. Yeah, we need to, to know about the price as well. Yeah. If it's in our budget. It, yeah. 14 days, if you take 15 days, then you calculate as one month rental. If one month rental, yes. Oh, one month rental? Yeah, because above 15 days, then it's considered as one month rental. So let's do 14 days. 14 days? <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes. And it comes with insurance? No, with the gas also. Insurance? It's cheaper than It's cheaper by 120 ringgit or 125 ringgit. What about insurance? Uh. So Let's say we buy it, we take it for two weeks and we want to drop it off in Miri, how much would it be for everything? Okay, uh, drop off is 350 Yes. Then for the long distance, I charge you 350 Okay, so in total it's 3800 38. 38. That's with insurance, with everything? Yes. Okay, so what if the car is damaged? How much extra do we pay? Or nothing? Uh, if like that, you need to... The penalty we claim you is only... 1,000 ringgit penalty. Penalty, okay. Maximum 1,000 ringgit. Yes. Maximum 1,000 ringgit. Yes, you include the insurance. Okay. Can. So that's the same then over there. Over there. More or less the same, by 68 ringgit. Yeah, it's the difference yeah. of 68 ringgit between then them. We can and maybe we can see the two cars and compare about which uh, cars we like more. Yeah, that can make sense. Price. Sure. Makes sense. Okay. No. You want to check the cars first? Can, can we have a look? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's okay. go check out the cars. Let's go check out the cars. Okay, sure. Thank you. You. Mm, I like this thing. The both companies are working next to each other side by side, so yeah, and they're nice with each other. Quite convenient for tourists. Yes, you get to go convenient. to each one, and they try to get the best deal you can. Yeah, it's quite true. Nice. Right, so we're gonna have a look oh, at those we, cars uh, now. Okay. 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 So Let's go all the way down. We're gonna have a look. At yeah, sure, sure. You, know. you can test drive as well. Okay. So the third row of seats is in the trunk. Ah, we yeah. can edit here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> This is our editing room. Uh, yeah, okay, because yeah. we're gonna travel with uh, five persons for two weeks, so we... Uh, okay. Yeah. okay. Not bad. So far, so good. We have those kind of soccer mom uh, end gear door. So far, looks good. Good option. Good option. Let's see car number two. <laughs> Let's see what's behind door number two. A little longer than a few minutes later. Da -da -da -da! Toyota Innovo. Yay! Which is usually 350 ringgit per day because we got the uh, handsome man discount. Yes. <laughs> 250 ringgit per Three day. Three handsome man discount. Three handsome man discount. So the lady was super nice. Shows to her. Her name's Corinthian. Yes. And we got 250 ringgit a day. We'll start Sunday because it's not available today. Yes. <laughs> yeah! Yay! <laughs> and by the I'm magic excited. of time, today is. Sunday! Two days later now. Yes, two days later we have the car. And Steve is playing their guitar. <laughs> and the no, guy sir, you're driving? Away. Comes with driver or no? No. Oh, no? No, 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 driver. Not coming with oh, driver. Okay. Oh, come on. Driver. This is a side driver right now. What? One, two. two. You have upper scissors? What, what, what are we playing for? The driver. The driver? Yeah. yeah. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Shoot. Okay, you guys. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Again. In Germany, we do this one, two, three. Okay. What? One, two, three. One, two. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. I drive. Okay. <laughs> We're having fun. Where should we go with the car, boys? We should go do something without the girls and tell them it took a long time. Yeah, we I agree. We should go to ourselves. We should go do some kind of like stupid thing. Horse racing or something fun. <laughs> okay. Smoke cigars. Something manly. <laughs> something manly, man. Yeah, I agree. Like a typical Thailand vlogger doing this. How you do everything. And the team is back together. Yes, Avengers assemble. We got Steve, <laughs> Ivana, Gigi, Ken, and me. Hey, let's go. Yeah. 
no problem. Just How much me. more space is here? <laughs> How far can I go? <laughs> That's you just squishing, you're squishing. Yeah, this is the reality of traveling with Ken abroad. So we're, in a, we're in a car here, all packed up for a road trip. Ken brings all of his six foot six self and just and just terrorizes the, the seating arrangement. Look at, look at Gigi's knees! Okay. Oh my gosh, it's a clown car. It's a clown car. <laughs> this, well, I can go like this better. <laughs> okay, shall we go? A few moments later. It says something in Malay and I don't understand. <laughs> you use uh, what? Uh, cash. No, uh, no card, cash. Cash. Uh, uh, you must uh, pay first. Pay first. Oh, yeah. Pay first. And okay, how much do I know how to pay first? Because I have to want, I want to fill it up. Uh, you give me 200. Uh, um, You'll give me the change if it's too much. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. After, after, after you. Can. Okay, we, we check. Okay. okay. Sure. 200. Give me 200. 200 uh, okay, 200. Yeah. 100, 200. Uh, okay, interesting way of putting gas in the car. First pay and then. Yes, first you pay, then you put the gas. That's kind of backwards, but well, <laughs> you never know. Going, 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 going. Petrol In 200 meters, turn right. Yo, we even got the GPS hooked up to the dashboard. We are the best tourists ever. Yes. <laughs> well, that was different than one hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> I can go, I can go, I can squeeze on the belly. Three. Uh, can you make the radio happen? Or some kind of music? Radio! Kill the radio star! <laughs> Who needs a radio? Can we lose the GPS? Yeah! I think it's and Android, it's gonna yeah, happen in the background. Yeah, can connect the phone, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah! This phone is gonna connect to the radio. You can buy you a mockingbird. And everybody said, Mockingbird, don't sing. I'm gonna buy you a mockingbird. Don't you know about the bird? Everybody knows about the bird in the world. I don't think I'm gonna last more than two hours. I know, especially Ken. Poor Ken. <laughs> if he doesn't put the music faster, he's yeah, gonna I'm trying my best to make it fast. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna listen to me, Steve, and us rambling about shit. Listen, I'm taking requests. Any song you want, I can sing it. You name it. Okay, oh, I can rap it. You can sing it. Perfect. We'll do a duet. Yes. We need a road trip song. Yes. I know what it'll be. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. <laughs> there you go. Everyone can deny. <laughs> when a girl walks in with a little bit of a in your face, I get free. Yo, Michael. How did you feel? First time driving in Malaysia. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Hey. Easy, busy. What did you like the most so far? Uh, nah, the car is okay, but it's kind of weird with the commands, maybe because I have to get used to it. What about but driving on the other side of the road? That's easy. We've been driving in Pakistan and we've been driving in Bangladesh. We've been driving all over the place, so I'm used to driving on the other side of the road. But this is, I think, you like it more here because you have a lot, a lot of space to break. A lot of like people are pretty organized. Yeah, sort of not that many agitated people going around trying to yeah. go all of them yeah. forward. So people are in an orderly fashion here, way going on the road. What do you think about the petrol price? Petrol price is cheap. Very good. Two ringgit for. A Petrol in my country is nine, so nine, nine ringgit. Yeah. Woo. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's go. See. First spot of the day is the Orangutan Sanctuary, and we just found out that we can drive all the way to the Orangutans. Okay, easy busy. So let's go again. Bring, 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 bring. Going up the hill. <laughs> we have spotted our first orangutan. That's a big monkey. Okay. 
Steve looks excited. I am excited. I want to see the monkey though. Let's go this way. Hello. How are you? Hey. He's doing tricks. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Ah, by the way. Thank you. Sorry. I'm not allowed to say there. Even though that's the best angle. It's kind of aggressive, so if you. That's aggressive too, for him. No, the orangutans are very aggressive. Oh. If you get too near, they might just go after you. Okay. So that's why they advise us to be a bit further. Okay. I thought that orangutans are they relaxed are very, and chill then. No. no. They can be very aggressive when they think they're provoked. Okay. I didn't know. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Did you know that orangutans are very vicious when they're fighting? So this is what they are saying. What they are saying that the orangutans are fighting. Look at the size of it. Would run away instantly. Edwin is the king in here, and now orangutan is our enemy. I hate orangutan so much because they kept chasing me. They kept, you know, just pull branches and they throw it to us. So the orang ni, the orang kira macam. Oh, orang baru ni boleh cuba ni, right? So, for the first time I work here, it's the first time I see the wrong tan is fighting this one. We train them to be wild, not to be friendly. Okay, so that too, don't expect high uh, hope untuk pegang peluk, cium ataupun irritation yang dengan orang tan dekat sini kita tak benarkan langsung. Okay, even us in here, we are not allowed to touch the wrong tan. Getting closer with this one, yes. Because we need to make sure they know us and they will smell us. And this is the feeders t shirt. Okay? So they know we are the one who feed them. So that's why we can get close. But at the same time, we need to make sure their mood is in very good mood. Go figure. Right in the car park where we parked our car, there's an orangutan with the baby lurking up in the tree. It's so cute. I hope you can see it. Otherwise, Gigi has to do the magic zoom. Nice! Baby orangutan hanging out near our car. I hope he doesn't steal our car though. Because I know that orangutans are smart. I hope they don't steal our car. Because then we have to explain to the nice lady that uh, our car was stolen by an orangutan in the jungle. So, I don't want to be the one who does that explaining. They're beautiful, beautiful creatures. It's my first time in my life doing something like this. Same, I would have never expected them to be this big and this wall. Yeah, beautiful. Tiny baby! Oh, Steve, good commentary. You're like the BBC. David Attenborough right here. Orangutans are there here in the reservation. Here we have 15 to 16 of them. 15 to 16? Yeah. Excluding two new babies that was born in this year. Okay. Uh, we have uh, two new babies that was born in this year. Okay. And hopefully uh, we still waiting for other one more uh, orangutan that is pregnant right now. Okay. Right? So hopefully by this year, three of them already come out. Uh, three of them already born in here. Born. Yeah. They're very cute when they're little. Yeah. I've just been to the parking lot, they look amazing. <laughs> the one is one month old already. One month old? Yeah, one month old. Okay, yeah. that's big, that's still, good. Uh, the baby was born the last month and still in here. We are still looking at the gender of the baby. Okay. So if we know the baby is male or female, so by that moment we will... If we know the gender already, so we list down the name and the name will be sent to our authority mm -hmm. for approval. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay can, so you, uh, can you please uh, tell our audience why should they come here? Okay, so <laughs> in here, actually it's not, orangutan is not enforced to come here, okay? Of course. In here it depends on the orangutans, mm -hmm. okay? For me, for us, either they come or not, it's up to them. Correct. It's a part of the salvation when they don't come. Mm -hmm. But if they come, consider as very lucky enough. And yes, we need some of them come out in here just because not only for the visitors to gain some knowledge and of course some of them, True. some of the visitors are newly or 
uh, the first time seeing the wrong tan see so even though they can see the wrong tan but at the same time we also provided some knowledge to them so mm -hmm. that they know and of course it's for the new generation nowadays yes, now they... it's the gadget generation right yes, true. so we need to make sure all of the new generation being exposed about the animals and of course true. the wrong tan because the wrong tan is near to extinction right now oh all right and they are very uh, low and very slow uh, decreasing. Yeah, yeah, increasing. Increasing. Very uh, yeah, slowly. in here they are increasing, but it's very slow because um, the production, not only, oh sorry, not the production. I mean, um, the mother, the females, uh -huh. they can get pregnant about three to four times only for their life. So that's that's very little. Yeah, and then another thing is not only for the knowledge for for the for the visitors, but at the same time, so of course. For the ecotourism best attraction. True. Yeah. Ecotourism. Yeah. What's your name? Sorry. Fata. 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 I'm Gigi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet You're you. You're a very nice presenter <laughs> and you definitely made us understand a little bit more about the sanctuary here yeah. because it was our very first time when we saw orangutans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't have them in Romania. So yeah. Well, hopefully you can see it now. Yeah. Yes. And Thank yes, you so um, it's very I'm it's very glad to welcome for all of the visitors there all around the world just because yeah nowadays the borders is open for the visitors right True. for the for the visit from or for the tourists from the other countries and yeah i really miss this moment it takes about two years there's no visitors come out oh. just come because <laughs> Guys, of the come you know, here. <laughs> because because of the you know because of the, the spreading uh, of covid 19 right True. so now hopefully it's back to normal and yeah i really miss this thing and yeah i really enjoy and entertain all of the visitors and wow. keep answering all of the questions that they want and yeah giving some knowledge to the new generation not only the new generation of course for all of the visitors that come including the visitors that come from the other countries thank so, you so much yeah I love to you're such everything. a lovely person guys come here uh, <laughs> and visit the wildlife sanctuary <laughs> it's really really amazing you're gonna meet this amazing guy so <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you, you. Yes. thank you have yes. a great day yes, thank you. now that the orangutans have gone away to sleep we are getting back into our car and we're driving away <coughs> where are we going are we gonna see coconut? oh ivana you want to sit there you want to sit there for the video we need steve yeah yeah, yeah. gg gg you guys sit over here sorry steve you guys sit over here sorry where are we going we're going to uh crocodile we're going now inside the jungs crocodile farm and zoo for our second leg of our trip today to see the crocodiles yes crockies the crockers Oh, look, there are two crocodiles already. Cronky, Gigi. Look, crocodiles, they're hanging on the river. Let's go poke them with a stick. Oh, Michael. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. There's a feeding show happening. Hopefully now. Let us check it out. La, 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 la. we have here we have an otter hello he's lying around hello And some kind of thing there up in the tree. I know what it is. He's hanging with his mouth open. He's hot as I am. I wanna see the big crocodile. Let's go inside here. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and we have peacocks. Peacocks and ducks. And some more peacocks up in the tree. This is so nice. I left the guys monkeying around at the smaller crocodiles. And I think I have an unfair advantage because I might see the bigger ones. But let's see. First we have the ducks. Hello. Hello. How are you? 
Okay, okay, okay. I'm leaving you alone. And here we have more animals. Okay. And we're going through this maze of jungle and fence and more jungle and oh, something something there. Is it the platypus? What are you? Hello? It's a... It's a bear cat. Oh! That was the thing that was hanging there and... Ugh. Something like this, the bear cat. But now it's lazy and it's showing me the, uh, his ass. Maybe when we go back, he's gonna reveal himself. Okay, and going deeper, deeper inside the crocodile place, and deeper, and we find the toilet. And I think this is the main area because this looks like a big river. And the pond is empty. This pond was to have a salt water, water crocodile. Let's see if we find them. So far, nothing. Oh, holy mother of a big one. Ooh, you are a huge looking one. Jesus. That's one big saltwater crocodile. Look at the size of it. I kind of happy because there's some grates between me and the crocodile. But let's see if we can find more around here. Which way to the big pond? Yeah. Which way to the big pond? Yeah. That way. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are the crocodiles still there or did yeah, they yeah. went to sleep? Yes, yeah, still, still there. Okay. Let's go quick before they go to sleep and catch the crocodiles. Loo, 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 loo. I wonder what we have here. Oh, goat. Gigi will have a blast when she will see the goats. Hello, goat. Hello. Nice goats. I wonder if the goats are gonna become the lunch of the crocodiles. Hopefully not, because I like goats and I don't want them to be eaten by the crocodiles. Nevertheless, we arrived at pond number two, which is this one. And the crocodiles are, oh, they are there. Hello! I think they're asleep now. There's one lurking there in the... And there's one there. Chilling. Not doing much. Let me go closer. Let me go closer. Cranky, the crocodile is here. And it's huge. Hello, crocodile. How are you? You are alone. So am I. Everybody left me here alone to go and explore the crocodile farm all alone. And they started making jokes and monkeying around at the beginning of the park. But no, I went alone inside by myself to see the crocodiles. And they went away. There's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. And they're all staring at me. I wonder if I did something to them. Oh, here's some turbulent things happening.
So guys, top dumb move I did today was to stop and change the battery of the camera right in the middle of the crocodiles. And while I was doing here my job, underneath me is one of the biggest ones that I've ever seen so far. He's massive, I don't know if you can see, if you can see him through the boards, but imagine my screw for my battery would have fallen on this crocodile's back. What would I have done then? That would have been goodbye camera, goodbye YouTube. Eh, I was lucky in a way, but guys, don't do what I did. Don't stop here in the middle of the thing and just randomly switch your batteries to your cameras. Okay, interesting. In the beginning, I was thought I was thinking that this Jong's elevator farm was kind of boring and not much to see, but there's a bunch of them. And I think if you find yourself here and you catch the feeding time, it's gonna be way more interesting. But now, it's just weird noises and random alligators coming out. Now I'm here on this wooden thing going around. Yo, Steve! Come here! Coming. There! Here is really interesting. Trust me, I've been there and it's... Oy, freaky! Freaky, freaky, freaky! Okay, let me explore this area first. And then we can meet up with the guys. Okay. Fishes of the Kuching rivers. Nice. And some sort of artwork. And monkeys. And cats. And various creatures. Okay, time to get back to the guys. They sound like dinosaurs, man. Oh my gosh. Yep, told you they're rowdy. Oh my god, you're surrounded by them now. So now the boys have joined the party and Yo, they feel crazy. the same thing that I was feeling earlier. I'm I, I freaking got goosebumps, dude. I know, I was here in the middle of them and I was changing the battery of my GoPro and then all of a sudden all of them go Yo, this is crazy man. It is. My, my guess is because we just missed feeding time, they're like burping or something. They're going like yeah. <laughs> They're Probably. digesting whatever they just had. It's scary. What is this thing? I hope he won't jump. I don't know they're sleepy. Uh -huh. Hello. You're in a dinosaur cage, bro. <laughs> You're in the movie. It looks Jurassic like Jurassic Park. Stay there, stay there, Max. Stay there, stay there. Yo. Oh. You're insane, Mike. Okay. Yo, get out of there, bro. Okay, now, time to get out. Spending too much time in the crocodile pit. <laughs> That's the best uh, idea. That, that part looks even more scary than this part. Yeah, 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 it's very rotten and very... And it was flimsy when you were walking, you feel like... <laughs> okay, glad I'm out. This guy was caught in 1988 in Sandung River. So this is like a real badass. Man, it's huge. I think it has maybe five meters. Four meters or so. It's massive. Would you, would you take a cro one of these crocs home? Yeah, sure. I mean, look at them. They're cute, so cute. Hello. How are you, crocodile? Probably still hurts a lot if these guys I would take them, sure. They're good. They could go as nice as pets. But when they get bigger, they get angrier and they get more destructive. So I don't know what to say. What do you think, Gigi? Would you want one as a pet? I don't know. Like if if no. <laughs> No? Okay. No, because uh, they're high maintenance, I think. You have to keep them in 
certain kind of water, you can feed them meat all the time. Yes, a lot of raw meat to feed the crocodiles. Cat. Hey! Fuck your serpent! No, Romanians always take matters into their own hands. People that know what you're doing. And with this pretty image in my background, we're gonna say goodbye for this place and we're gonna head on and see where the road takes us for the evening, for dinner or for accommodation. So let's see. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. A few moments later. And now for the end of our video, from the middle of nowhere, Steve is live streaming there, having a blast. Oh, uh, we just drove here. There's a car without a bumper. And we're gonna have some food here at Agong Coffee Shop. Spicy vinegar, spicy vinegar, spicy and sour. Mm. Very good noodles. I think the vinegar is more vinegary, and the chilies are a little bit spicy. But other than that, I like it. Has some egg, has some uh, kind of jungle veggies. Jungle veggies. Good jungle veggies. I don't know how to describe them. They're kind of sweet, but savory in a way. I don't know. Veggies. You like and, uh, it? Yeah, I like it. Would you eat this again? Sure. That's cool. I, I like it the fact that it doesn't have any meat and it's filling you up. And it's nice. That goes to prove you that you don't have to eat meat every day. You can eat also jungle veggies in your noodles and it's good. And it was recommended by the, uh, the restaurant food like here. Oh, that's cool. That means they know what they're doing and their food is good. Shout out to you. Now oh, the night is over and so we're going to the car back. We have to drive a lot until we reach the magical place of Seria. Seria. So that means we have to go. Seria. And so I say, not in a bad way. No, oh, no. You took my bottles. And now we're going my way. <laughs> oh, Chinese. What? Yes. Yeah, so, eight ringgit. Eight ringgit. Yes. Oh, that looks scary. 44 for the food and the drinks. And eight ringgit for the, the other. And, and I think if the, if the van runs out of uh, gasoline, probably put this right inside. Yeah, could be. So, Time to end the video. By the way, shout out to Romanian parking here, right? Look at this. some yeah, geometry. Let's just some angles here. Best, what is best. this? <laughs> it's between the lines. Yes, it's between the lines. It's between the lines. It's between the lines. I don't care. It's between the lines. It's good. In the grass over here. It's between the lines. <laughs> it is between the lines. <laughs> See what I mean? It's between the lines. Okay, that being said, guys, time to go. Bye bye. Let's go. bye, -bye. First day of the road trip, officially finished. Bye, bye, bye. Say goodbye, Gigi. Bye. Bye.